Hi, welcome to Gimmicare, the most simple and affordable self-hosted EHR solution for the clinics and private practices. In today's video, we are going to see the pro version of Gimmicare and the extraordinary features it offers you. But to use these features, you need the core plugin of Gimmicare. To get it, you can directly install it from the WordPress. And if you don't know how to use it and the things it offers, you can check out our previous video of the Gimmicare core plugin. So just go and check it out. Now, let's start the installation of pro version and the overview. So firstly, you can see we are in the WordPress and our core plugin of KiwiCare is already installed. You can also install it before starting the process. And now we will go into plugins in the add new where you will upload your zip that will be given to you when you buy the pro version. So we'll just drag and drop it here just like any other theme or plugin and install it now. And after the installation, we will activate the plugin. And now you can see that our plugin that we have already added that is core plugin and this is our pro plugin in the KV Care and they both are activated in here. Now we will go into our master admin dashboard where when you refresh it you can see all the labels of the pros are gone and now you will get the access in all the pro settings like the reports and clinic and in the clinic now you have the access to operate it. So now let's see how to add a multiple clinic in it. So for that, you will just click on add clinic and where you will give the all the information just like we gave it before in the core version video. So if you don't know, you can just check that out and give the information and you will just click on save and your clinic will be added in the list. Now you can see you have two different clinics working for you. So this dashboard is for the admin panel, but now the whole role based system will be changed. Now you will have the master admin, then the clinic admins, patient, doctor and receptionist will be seen. Now you can also see that this option has been opened where you can export your Excel, CSV or print this data that you have for the clinics. And you have the option to edit it, activate it or do whatever changes you want in your clinics. So our clinic has been added. So after adding the clinic, we will add a new doctor to that clinic. If you have a clinic, you have to add doctor just like before. So we'll add a doctor to a new clinic and we have shown that in the core version, you can just check it out how to do it. I will just skip that process and we will add a doctor in it. Now let's move to the doctor sessions. So to start the booking process in new clinic, you have to add a doctor session before. So we will just add a new session. You can select the clinic from here. Then the doctors can be similar in both the clinics. You can have one doctor working at both the clinic. You just have to arrange the session and the weekdays, how it will work in both the clinic. So you have to take care of that and you will understand it while you are filling this information. So I will just skip that process and click on save session. Now the session has been added. So now let's move to our front end widget of the booking appointment where you can see we have one more option added to choose a clinic. I will select the new clinic that we have added and we will select other settings just like before and at the end you can see the confirmation has been done of our clinic but there is one more option added here too that is to add to your calendar. When you click on it you have to log in with your Google or any other account and it will get connected to its calendar and you will get the reminder for your appointment. So this is one of the pro features that you get in the pro plugin. So now let's move to our patient dashboard and you can see the appointment has been added and in the appointment section you can see that we have the option here too to add the calendar where you can connect your Google account or whatever account you have and have the reminder for it. And here also you will have the option to download your data from the Excel or CSV format or print it. Then the one more thing that is added is the report section, which will be shown when the doctor will edit it. Then you have the option to choose the clinic for yourself, which clinic you usually go and you can just select it and save it. And the whole dashboard will be moved for that clinic only. You can just save it. So now let's move to the clinic admin. So before that, let's understand what's the master admin and the clinic admin. Master admin can access all the information and setting throughout the clinics, but the clinic admin can only access the, their clinic information, their patient, doctor or receptionist. So big difference is between them. So we will see the dashboard of clinic admin. So the, all the settings are just similar to the master admin. The only changes are some restrictions that clinic admin gets. We have the appointment, encounter, patient, doctor, 
than uh, receptionist, than the services that we have added, doctor sessions and the report. This report will only show the revenue of the doctors and this clinic only. In the master admin, you can see the revenue of all the clinics. Then we have the dashboard where you can see the appointment is there. So now let's move to our doctor dashboard. So you can see some other new access with the pro version. In the dashboard section, there are no new accesses. In the appointment section, you can see our appointment has been added. And in this clinic, we haven't had any receptionist till now. So we will now understand how the role based system works. When you shut down any module in the KVCare, it doesn't affect the flow of KVCare. You can access it from anywhere and your flow will be continued. So now we will check in our patient from the doctor module. You can just click on check in here and then you will go into the encounter and you can see our encounter has been added and you can click on encounter dashboard. Then in the encounters, the, all the information, how to add it and the prescription are similar, just the core version. The one thing that is new is you can upload your old report of the patient, like the previous record from any other clinic, you can just directly get it and add it here and understand the problem better. Then you can just close the encounter just like core version by clicking here and convert it into the paid version. Our encounter has been closed and we can go into the appointment section and you can just click on checkout and you will get the option to check out your patient and your appointment is completely done. Now in the dashboard section you can see the information that is changed for this clinic. Now let's move to our clinic admin then there you can see our appointment has been completed and the information has been added. Now in the clinic admin also you can see the encounters and all that stuff. You can also see the bill detail that we have added. You can also view the report that we have added or you have added in it. Now let's move to our master admin dashboard where we will see some other pro settings that we have. So for that we have firstly the report section which will show you the report of all the clinics, all the doctors and the revenue it generates. So you can see two different clinics are showing like blue is main and green is other. Then we have clinic revenue which have earned more. Then we have the doctor revenue from the different different clinics. It all shows here. So this can be very helpful and you can also download your data from by just clicking here. You can have it in a different formats too. You can filter it out in year, months or in any way you want. There are some options you can also they bifurcated through the clinics too. And in the dashboard section, you can see the total amount of patients, doctors and all the stuff combining the two clinics in here because it's the master admin. So now let's move to the settings and see what pros offers them. So the first thing is SMS and WhatsApp templates. So you can get the access now going into the pro settings and start this Twilo account settings and you can send the SMS and WhatsApp messages to your patient or the doctors or the clinics. So you can use this template too in the pro version. You can customize them in some restrictions and send it there. Then the next thing is Google event template. So in the pro version you will get the reminder for events when you add it from here. So the next option is Google Meet. In KiwiCare, we have the Telemed option. So we have two different options, Zoom Telemed and Google Meet. You buy these two add-ons, you will get this access here. So we'll just skip it. Then the next thing that you have is the biggest change in the Pro version, which is Pro Settings. In that, you can change the logo of KiwiCare. Then you can change the theme color, RTL mode, enable the WordPress logo. So here you can see we have this WordPress logo that you can't remove in the core version. But in the pro version, you have the access to change it in your own logo. Then the, we talk about Twilo setting in SMS setting. And the second thing is Google Calendar. You will get the access for Google Calendar reminder. If you enable it, your patient can add the reminder of their appointment or for the doctors too. Then you have the encounter setting. Some of these encounter settings that you can change. Then you have copyright text. So in the core version, you can't change the copyright text from KiwiCare. You have to use it in this way. But in the pro version, you change it in whatever copyright statement you want. And our team also gives you white label support where you can remove the KiwiCare name from everywhere. So for that, you can directly contact our team and get that done. So the next thing is payment. So in the payment, we already have PayPal and local payment, but 
One more thing that you get in the Pro version is WooCommerce Gateway. If your user want to use the WooCommerce, then you can enable it from here. Right now, it's showing this error because we haven't added the plugin of WooCommerce in our WordPress. So you have to do that. Then only you can enable this WooCommerce plugin. And that's it for the Pro version. These are some amazing features that you get in the Pro version. You can set up your multiple clinic, then you get the report for all that clinic. Report can be very useful when you have multiple clinics, right? So you can directly see the revenue and bifurcate that data and understand how your another chains are working. So this was an amazing feature. You can customize the whole Kiwi Care however you want. If you have the Pro version, you will get a lot of more accesses in the Pro version than the Core version. So you can definitely buy it and launch your digital clinic with Kiwi Care.